Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to EXPR. This is definitely, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. Beautiful, beautiful gap. Just nailed this puppy today and really, really liked it. This was my top pick today, and I was all over this thing. Did the ads, did it all, loved it. I want to point out that this gap is amazing for lots and lots of reasons, but the biggest reason why I was all into this thing today is because it is a corrective gap. There's lots of gaps. Uh, there's lots of gaps that are playable, that are doable, that I like to trade and that rate high and over 20 points. Look, this thing keeps making me lows. This is nuts. 85. Uh, but the good thing about this gap today is that it is a correction, it is a correction in the chart. It's, you know, I, I've been seeing long corrections, meaning things that are in downtrends that have bullish corrections. I've been pointing them out in the room. This is actually a correction, meaning to the downside. Uh, so let's look at this. The stock was in a downtrend here. Traded down, was in a downtrend, was in a downtrend, was still in the downtrend here, was still in the downtrend here, but this gap down here actually failed. This was back in March of this year. The stock did a bullish gap here, May 30th. It was an immediate buy. This was a good, good, actual uh, bullish gap, a golden gap to the upside. Could have been bought aggressively for a core trade long and a day trade long. It was a good quality gap, and it just is. And it, it actually made the chart go from being in a downtrend to an immediate uptrend. Here it is. Came down, retested, rally. Came down, retested, rally. Came down rallied. The market's rallying. This is rallying. This is all this year. Stock apps down today. This chart, this uh, AXPR is no longer in an uptrend anymore. It is now in a downtrend. It is a beautiful, beautiful chart with a swing trade target. Uh, really down here around the 16s. Look at that. This is this is at the dream target, and this is going to the dream target here today. I said there was a small chance this could fall off a cliff today to the dream target, and, and it, it is uh, really 1850-ish. Look at that. It's amazing. So I was very aggressive on this today. Very aggressive. I actually did the ads and was I I was take I took more than my normal risk because I did the ads and the stop was at the same place. Let's go over the entry. So the first entry was here, 20.03, stop over the high of the day. I actually took more here when it broke 20 again. Stop was still over the high of the day. Right back, retested the high of the day. I took more again, stop over the high of the day. I wasn't even going to take more when it broke 20 in here, but I was writing something down. I was writing down a number, and all of a sudden I looked, and I was up all this money. I was like, woo, and then I missed the ad, and it didn't even matter anymore. So then it traveled on down. Do, 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 and hit on through all the first targets because actually I had 1970 was the first target and it broke it very, very fast, very swiftly. Then it was 60, then it was 50, and then after 50 it was 25. So, uh, and then after 25, 19, this actually broke uh, 25 very easily too. Broke 19 now. This is on its way down uh, probably pretty much all day. I think this might have a rally in it on the 15-minute chart between now and 1.45 to o'clock. But if it doesn't, it's just going to bleed all day. And if you're not already in it, uh, then then you just can't take it. You can't short a falling knife. I'm out of this. I don't like to trade all day. I don't want to trade in the afternoon. But this was certainly a stock that you could have been in all day. You could take half out. You could take another quarter out. You could take another quarter out. I mean... You could just say, I'm in this to the close of the day. I have people that are in the room with me that do that uh, because when I pick something that it's working, they say, that's it, I'm in it. Boom, all or nothing. And you could trade like that. This is a huge, huge trade from the entry that I called it. Just spot on, really just so nice, really beautiful and very happy with the day. Solid day, a perfect trade, a perfect gap read, perfect everything. And I'm not doing anything else today. So when you have perfection, you don't, you don't, uh, try to duplicate it on the day. You just don't. And really, I'm so proud of myself for seeing the correction in the chart because it's above and beyond my gap analysis. Um, it's it's something that I actually teach um, in the trends class, uh, but the combination of the trends class and the gap class really is where I'm pulling all this information together to see these things so clearly, to do the pick, and then also to see the correction. 
and to see the trend play out. Uh, I did the webinar yesterday on trends, and, and uh, today just confirms here what I was talking about yesterday about how reading trends correctly is so important, uh, so important. And uh, it, it's one of these things where if you want to make money as a trader, you got to be in the right direction. The size of the gap down here was quite significant, and the market oscillates is completely against us today, so people could have been concerned that this was a buy into support, specifically because the market was a long, and this chart has been in a nice uptrend, but it's not anymore. Why? Because today it gapped. It was a highly rated golden gap. It's not in an uptrend anymore after today. This is a swing trade. You could be in this for a short, for a swing trade or a core trade in, in, until otherwise noted. And it's a wonderful, fantastic bearish gap. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you would like to learn how to rate gaps and trade gaps, uh, the way that I do, I'm doing one more Golden Gap course this year. It's getting filled up. It's December 14th and 15th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the last class I'm doing in 2013. So if you want to trade this month and into the first quarter of 2014, trade in January, then uh, you can do the class in December and learn how to do these gaps and then get going live the end of this year into the beginning of January to start trading and learn the information and do it. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Great day, just terrific day. Wednesday, two more days in the week. Lots of nice picks and watches tonight I have on my radar. Can't, can't wait. I'm just going to pull out all the stops here in December. Have a strong, strong close into the end of the year. It's a nice time of the year for people to sell off stuff that they don't want anymore. And that is clearly what happened here with the EXPR today. Beautiful, nice, fat red bar. Red is my favorite color. It's holiday time. Beautiful EXPR. Have a great day, everybody. Need anything? Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com.